Amazing grape farming. The leftovers of the previous seasons are washed and then dusted off. Therefore, the cleaning process of the farm is mostly done with manual processes. The workers clean the grape trees and spray them with pesticides. Similarly, their efforts emerge when the grape trees start to regrow. When the fruits emerge on the branches, a worker measures their length and starts to nourish them as the farming is being done artificially. This worker goes one by one to each branch and applies the same procedure. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're obsessed with farm and technology related videos. Give a thumbs up to this video so that we can know you're supporting us and valuing our efforts. And lastly, let us know where you're watching from in the comment section. Keep watching! Moreover, generally speaking, a grape grown in your backyard could take three years to produce a good crop of viable grapes. That said, several factors will determine how long it will take for your newly planted grapevine to produce fruit. Plant age and size at planting time, climate, sun, soil, and other environmental conditions and proper pruning and other care practices. Sun is very important. To produce fruit, grapevines require adequate exposure to sunlight. The more sun you give them, the more abundant the harvest. Though grapevines will grow in partial shade, the vines require at least seven hours of direct sunlight per day to produce abundant, quality sweet grapes. When growing on a trellis, plant vines facing southward if possible. For the soil, grapevines need well-drained soil. Constantly soggy or wet soil is problematic. Moist but well-drained soil is best. You can do this too by following the directed tips and then packs each bunch of the grapes with paper plastic to avoid germs and bacteria that can contaminate their quality. Then comes the time when these bunches naturally turn into red and black. Then the workers pick them from the branches and pack them in trays that are then proceeded to the market. Ultimately, to ensure the quality, the workers roam in the overall area of the farm to pick the freshest and ready-to-be-plucked bunches, which are fully prepared by nature and got completely artificial processes. Thus, this is how this becomes completely possible, where people can taste quality grapes that enrich the soul. Keep watching the video for more info that may help you to grow grapes in the backyard of your house. grape harvesting machine. The giant truck does it all alone. The driver propels the truck amid the grape plants and just accelerates. The truck is designed with a vacuum between the tires and has enough space to hold the grape plants to pluck bunches of grapes. Similarly, it comes with adjustable tires with great flexibility for the sophisticated and non-straight lines of these plants. The grape starts its annual growth cycle in the spring with bud break. In the Northern Hemisphere, this stage begins around March, while in the Southern Hemisphere, it begins around September, when daily temperatures begin to surpass 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Annual growth of grapes is frequently described using the following stages. 1. Bud burst. 2. Flower cluster initiation. 3. Flowering. 4. Fruit set. 5. Berry development. 6. Harvest. And 7 dormancy.
The passing of each event announces the beginning of a new stage in the vineyard management cycle. These are the steps you've already watched in the first part of the video. Additionally, there are several reasons why people love to consume grapes, as a single cup of grapes contains over 121 grams of water. They're also high in antioxidants, such as lutein and zeaxanthin. The skins of red grapes contain phytochemical resveratrol, which appears to protect against several chronic diseases and conditions. The flavonoids myricetin and quercetin are also found in grapes. Coming back to the truck, the truck is made in a great and sophisticated manner that all alone covers and does every harvesting process. As you can see, it has a facility of plucking and then cleaning the grapes, and laterally storing the grapes and then ultimately putting the grapes in the truck, which further takes the grapes in the directed location for unloading. Well, for now it's becoming much easier for the farmers to save their time by equipping such technology which functions all alone.